chicken. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to be talking to you about... Uh, <laughs> well, they, that what would never happen because the Democrats have said that under no circumstances will people that are having their taxes raised on a business in a, in a state flee the state. Yeah, I was going to call it the Amazon law, but it's not the Amazon law. Amazon was just the first that sent us an email out about this. It's eBay, it's YouTube, it's, um, it's, it's basically every company that little internet people do business with. Mm -hmm. All of them. It's basically the most... <laughs> well, this law is going to help provide jobs for California. It's called a brick and mortar law. Mm -hmm. It basically, what they thought is funny, it's meant to help the brick and mortar companies that aren't headquartered in the state of California. Yeah. Which is a good one, you know, to help play. But the problem comes... Uh, what does Target do a lot of sales off of? Mm -hmm. What does Kmart do a lot of sales mm -hmm. off of? What does Walmart do a lot of sales mm -hmm. off of? They basically is called take gun, shoot yourself. Remember, you have to understand these people are all Democrats, and they say <laughs> no. All business owners are Republicans. No, the majority of businesses in this country are owned by Democrats, not Republicans. And they're in pension funds. Then pension. Oh, oh yeah. The pension pension funds for like oh the unions, the teachers, oh, yeah. the policemen, the firemen, yeah. the government workers. The, yeah. And oh yeah. The, uh, and your 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 granny and your granddad and your mommy and daddy. You know that all of that retirement stuff. They basically just flies out the windows when they do this sort of thing. Like we've got to teach those people that you can't get away with flying a corporate jet. Let's see, as they pointed out, I love this last night. It would take 5,000 years for the people to fly corporate jets to pay off one, one year of Obama's debt. Mm -hmm. well, we're, this Amazon law, though, is basically... Oh, you're calling it, <laughs> you're you know, calling it, it Amazon it, law. No, it's just, they're using it as Amazon law. It's basically, it's meant to punish people for doing business on the Internet. Were they actually calling it that? I called it that. In, no, know, but that's what they nicknamed it as because oh, they, really? it basically has got... It's an anti-internet law, which they're basically meant, um, they, they figured, well, the, we, okay, the biggest enemy to the Democratic Party is the internet. Mm -hmm. So, as states that are controlled by Democrats are passing laws that they know that are illegal. The Supreme Court, I think in 1990-something, ruled you couldn't do this. And they're doing it, saying, well, it, we're, we can hit brick-and-mortar businesses. Um, you know, so basically every every person that works off the internet has to have a place where he's actually working from unless you're working out of your car. Well, so part of it is, is uh, I think you're going to have some uh, businesses go out of state. They're all going to go out of state. You have to. Um, you, you, uh, eBay cannot work in the state of California now because, God, can you imagine a lot of the stuff on eBay is also done like it is Amazon. They put things out there for you to see, uh, okay, a lot of Am a lot of eBay is just like Amazon because it's things that they have for sale continually, no matter what. Mm -hmm. You know, like some guy posts, you know, uh, uh, and like small companies that can't afford advertising will pr put their products up, you know, uh, like batteries, for instance. Mm -hmm. You can buy the same batteries forever, like you're never going to run out of, of 3M batteries or Sony batteries. So that basically, like the little guy who basically, um, eBay is also combined with a lot of people that actually don't have the product to sell. They're just acting as a middleman. Mm -hmm. You know, what happens is you pick up, uh, uh, you can get something consigned for, for you, you take a consignment mm -hmm. for somebody else and put it up on the internet to sell. Mm -hmm. Anybody seen these eBay stores that will all be shutting down? Yeah, they're all going to start changing that. Yeah. Well, actually, let's get into what, it, we'll actually read to you what was actually sent out. Yeah. So you'll have some idea, and then we'll go ahead and talk about the repercussions. That's honestly, we were the first to break the news yes. yesterday. Yay. Oh, thanks to our Motorola Zoom. <laughs> yeah. No, we were, we were lucky enough, here's a funny thing, we were lucky enough to know about the YouTube thing the morning it happened because I, I love that one. It's always a strange thing because a guy from YouTube, a guy from Google, sent me an email and he said that you're going to need a, a, a newer video player. Mm -hmm. I want to know why I didn't. I don't. I didn't play. You know, we 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 did YouTube to begin with. But we 
I don't watch the videos. God, what's I make them? I don't want to watch them. And I said, well, what do I need? And then they, well, because we just bought YouTube. And I said, oh, yeah, everybody knows that you're, everybody in the world knows that you're talking. No, we bought YouTube. And I said, am I supposed to know you bought YouTube? And he said, I just told you. Mm -hmm. And then we spent, we did the verification bit. You know, actually, we put it up on YouTube that Google had bought YouTube. And, uh, and then we got, you know, like the Wall Street Journal, local people. We were two hours late for an entertainment function. And we go to the entertainment function, we're very apologetic, and we tell the gentleman that we know that, you know, sorry that we should have been here earlier, but we, we, just, built, we just found out that YouTube was purchased by Google. Yeah, I said, yeah, he said, everybody knows about they got to do it. I said, no. It's, we put it out on the internet uh, about an hour and a half ago, and he said, and then he gets on, because they do the business by phones, the Hollywood people, he goes, oh my God, and he goes into the room and everybody leaves like a, a herd of elephants. So we're, I love that, Every, we're here late and we're the only ones left, because as he said, the world has changed. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody in the room were talking about... Um, in it, so I was a social media or something on that conference, <laughs> and it changed the whole map. I mean, it sort of screwed the conference. We didn't have lots of food available out there. Well, this again is changing the landscape. Because they said it couldn't happen. Well, you know, part of it is we know that it's going to, because it's like you don't make laws in a vacuum. Because businesses will respond to the laws that you create, yeah, right? Right, and, and people get hurt by... Um, uh, okay. The law of unintended consequences. It's, like, it's, it's basically how um, Democrats and uh, most politicians work that way. If the Republic, re, here it is. Republicans generally don't pass regressive taxes. Mm -hmm. You know, if they pass a tax, it happens to be on something that's actually going to make money. You know, Democrats have a tendency to pass taxes that end up costing money, which makes no sense because you don't. They said that every state that this type of law has been passed in, which is being challenged in the court, they've lost revenue. Yeah. They, they're they making, I mean, they just pulled, their, we, well, we expect to make three, $310 billion, million dollars a year, $310 million a year to help us out of our budget problems because this will be put into jobs programs. Well, uh, Amazon just took $365 million out of the state. Yeah. It's not money that's not going to come into the state now. But it, you, know, you can read it again. We read it yesterday. Although it changed slightly. Well, yeah, it has changed. I, yeah. it, it did change. Well, because part of it, we're doing a different segment. So it basically said, this This came out last night at 9.50. Um, unfortunately, Governor Brown has signed into law the bill that we emailed you about earlier today. See, part of it is when we, you had already known that he had signed it. Yeah, so and I knew I'd already seen, uh, I mean, <laughs> here's the problem is. We are actually news people. We do actually read this stuff that we are sent, unlike a lot of other people in the press. So what happened was, by the t the the the, the um, notice came out, but he had already signed it, right? So they had prepared that. Wait, they pre oh, there was a prepared it. thing, but my problem is here it is. I, it, it is sort of the oxymoron. I'm talking about him signing it as we're reading a thing that he's... We already know that he signed it. We already know sign it, so I'm sitting here. She's making correct. Are you sure? Well, yeah, because I'd already, you know, I'd already got the thing. Jerry Brown signed one of the most important job, pieces of job legislation in the history of the states. So as a result of this, contracts with California residents participating in the Amazon Associates program are terminated effective today, June 29th, 2011. Those California residents will no longer receive advertising fees for sales referred to Amazon.com, Endless.com, MyHabit.com, or SmallParts.com. Please be assured that all qualifying advertising fees are before they will be processed and paid in full in accordance with the regular payment schedule. Which means you don't get paid because they only pay once like every four months. Mm -hmm. And they'll they figure that they'll stop it now and see if they're going to get it overturned, but they won't because they... Well, you know, part of it is once they stop it, why are they going to reenact it? No, because uh, we'll have to redo it because actually we're, we're in the program. We could never made anything off the program, most people. The trick is, even the fact that most people don't, uh, multiply 10,000 times, uh, you know, maybe uh, the people might make $40, $50 in a year. Well, you know what? It reminds me of um, airline miles. Yeah. Because it's like they have all these on the books, 
-hmm. And so they terminate the program. Yeah. You don't have enough. You don't have enough to mail out a check to. There's a partial in between, so it, then they just. It, it happens all the time. I was with T. I was with TWA. You know, since TWA was Howard Hughes. You know, oh and basically, I had tons of miles. You know, they just accumulate, and I, and, uh, and then, uh, then the Democrats allowed <coughs> TWA to be sold to American Airlines. So and they wiped out all your they miles. They wiped all the miles. Mm -hmm. so, you know, you know, most of the people never actually get any money for these programs. So. Yeah. And you're currently receiving you're receiving this email because in, records indicate that you are a resident of California. Yeah. If you are not currently a resident of California, or if you are relocating to another state in the near future, you can manage the details of your associate's account here. Um, and if you relocate to another state in the near future, please contact us for reinstatement into the Amazon Associates program. So what's going to happen is is that a lot of the people will do what's going to what's going to happen here. How here, you know they'll simply um, get a they'll get they'll take out a box or something in Nevada, and become a legal become uh, the business. Will be headquartered out of Nevada, which has no corporation or something thing over there. So that's just all that's going to happen. They know that, and, and I saw the commercials last night. Now that the state of California has decided to chase the people that were the Amazon associates out of the, you know, out of business.